Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we take a suggestion straight off of a YouTube video and learn what Apply Scale does inside Studio One. With the release of version 4.5, Presonus has put in some new features that they kind of borrowed from Pro Tools and Logic to convince some of those users to just take another look at Presonus with all of its newly added features. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at Apply Scale, one of the macros that was updated in version 4.5. This is a play on a function used inside Logic, and let's take a look at how we can do it inside Studio One. Now that we're in the DAW, we can take a look at some key things we're gonna to wanna to pay attention to, primarily down here. As I was working on this song, which is just some basic chords going through, I put it into G sharp minor or A flat minor. This is something that's going to play part in what we're going to do in applying the scale in a few minutes. Just to let you know, right now I have my Akai MPK Mini hooked up as a MIDI controller. And what we're going to do is record some extra MIDI notes onto this basic piano that I have going on here. And it's using an instance of Presence XT. What I'm gonna do is when I hit record, I'm actually gonna play in a key of C. And that's just using all of the white notes on any keyboard. Then we're gonna take that and those notes that we add we're going to apply the scale of our song, but we're also going to be able to manipulate those into different keys. Instead of talking, let's just do it. I'm gonna hit record and just start noodling around. Hey everyone, just jumping in. I realized after I recorded this episode that I forgot to set up my output bus for you guys to hear this terrible, terrible piano that I wrote. It really doesn't matter what you hear, but it's actually just understanding the concepts of what's actually happening. Here, let's get back to it and we'll figure it out from there. Okay, thanks. But what we can do is now take all of these newly added notes. And what we're gonna do is expand the window here. All of these ones right here. We know that these are played in the wrong key. I purposely played them in the wrong key. But what we're gonna do now with our macro toolbar open, for more about some of the new macros in version 4.5, check out my last video or I'll put a link in the description. We're in the global page, and underneath action, we're going to find apply scale. I haven't applied a keyboard shortcut for this one yet, but you certainly could to help speed up your workflow. Since I have my notes selected, I'm just gonna hit apply scale, and you'll notice all the MIDI notes moved. And what it actually did is it dropped all the notes to fit within the scale of G sharp minor. If we play this back now, all of the notes are within the correct key. We can undo, and go back to the notes played in the key of C. But when we apply the scale and redo, everything snaps to G sharp minor. What you could also do is change the key for this part to be a harmonic relative, and then apply the scale to those notes. A harmonic relative of G sharp minor would be D sharp minor. So let's go ahead and go there. Now we've changed the scale to be D sharp minor, and we're gonna go ahead and hit apply scale again. We still have the same note selected. Now we're in a relative key of G sharp minor and the notes still work. If you're a composer or a music producer and wanna quickly bang out some parts that you wanna throw into your song in any key and maybe even one of its harmonic relatives, what you can do is use apply scale to get those notes into the scale you're working or the scale you want it to be in that quickly. It works on the notes you have selected and none of the other ones. So even on this one part that I have that is sharing the same MIDI track, I can change the key that these notes are in just by coming to scale, changing what we want, going to action and apply scale. That's all for now. If you found this video informative, please like and share the video. For more, please visit timflansbaum.com. And if you have a question, ask it in a comment and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.